Yeah, the there is great expectation, excitement, and it has built nicely in these idyllic conditions, conditions which are certainly playing their part in creating a glorious ambience. It's quite a struggle to get in here, points of access hard to come by, and an awful lot of people gathering to get through the gates, but regardless of that, there's a great feel here and much excitement for the game ahead. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part. It's Gabriel Jesus! That's a fine save! Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade. Oh, they could be caught out here. And the shot's on here. Good spot, he's seen the run. And the shot! Oh, surely that deserved better. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited, and they need filling, and fast. Be danger here. Now it's Gabriel Jesus. It's run loose. Who's going to get there? Partey fiddles it through. And the shot. Goal! Arsenal! First blood drawn. Well, there's always a chance of being caught like that when you surrender the football. The goal scorer for Arsenal after 15 minutes is number 18, Bukayo Saka. Arsenal take the lead, 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Now it's Gabriel Jesus. He's had a hit! And the follow-up! He's got a goal! And again, they simply do not know what has hit them. Ward reacted well to the initial effort, but couldn't get it right out of the danger area. Well, it still had to be finished off, so well done the to the goal, goal scorer, scorer, but the keeper Arsenal. should have done a lot better. After 18 minutes is... Number 35, Gabriel Martinelli. <laughs> Arsenal grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. All Brighton huttling down that right flank. Granit Xhaka, Martinelli, interesting ball. Oh, great defending, that needed doing. And he's managed to get rid. White. And it's Shaka. He's had a fair tumble under that challenge. And that's a foul. A simple decision for the referee. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Didi pressing is high and relentless. He's a sharp little ball here. Oh, super find. 
Oh, that was expansive and incisive. The type of move to please any coach. Oh, that's a key interception. Barnes. He's shifting through the gears here. Some terrific running on the ball there. Those efforts are not going unappreciated. Looks to clip it forward. Well, Brighton finds himself offside. Partey, who does have an assist to his name. Odegaard. Move forward and quickly so. Oh, the less said about that pass, the better. Two added minutes Odegaard. have been indicated. Can he finish? Good first touch and almost as good a second. Oh, the technical control was exquisite. The pummeled attempt was exasperating. And the referee brings the first half to a close. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Arsenal are two up and everything is shaping nicely. The only criticism, it could have been three. Arsenal go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. And we're already back underway here. Delicate ball and it needs to be. Cleared without complication. Zinchenko. Amati. Oh, strongly challenged there. Has a shot! They are rampant! And surely that settles it! Even some of the opposing fans are clapping that. You just have to appreciate it. You know, I'm not going to be hard on the goalkeeper because that moved all the over the place on its journey. Arsenal, after 51 minutes is... Number 35, Gabriel Martinelli. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. He ran himself into trouble there. Free kick given away. Vardy. Barnes. That's a pretty loose pass. Ndidi. Zinchenko. Sends it forward. This is promised. Shaka! They've scored! Players ecstatic. Fans delirious. This is utopian. Yeah, I'd call that transition with bite. They won it back and, and bit hard. The goal scorer for Arsenal. After 59 minutes is... Number 34. Arsenal totally rampant here. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Barnes. He's found a way through. White did just about enough to come out on top there. Neither party overly willing to compromise.
spread out to the left, Martinelli. Now Odegaard. It's come backwards here. Partey. Sinchenko. Sinchenko, just like so many of his contemporaries, is proving very good at driving forward. Gets away from his opponents. Ndidi proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. It's a good-looking cross. Lovely ball into space. Bit of a communication breakdown there, it seems. A slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Ah, quality Stop deserted them the when field. they really needed it. Number 24. Coming on to replace him is... Number 22. Substitution. And play cross field, changing the point of attack. Now it's Smith Rowe. Chance to break. Showing good feet. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Well, you might think he got off lightly. It is just a verbal warning. Well, this looks promising in terms of distance and angle. And this is the perfect opportunity to create a cushion between them. Zinchenko! And how good was that? He's got himself an absolute peach. How many, just how many... The golf in class is vast. Oh, oh that is a bit special. Arsenal. Well, he made it look effortless. Clearly a training ground perfectionist. Number 11, Alexander Zinchenko. Arsenal tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. He's left his man. And he has been fouled there. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. White is there, and he can get that clear. Four added minutes has been indicated. Into a minimum of four minutes additional time. Barnes. He is through here. Now here's the delivery. And it's hoisted clear. So that's it. It is all over. Arsenal, very much the dominant side, almost the only side. Every time they got on the ball, they looked like scoring. It is a landslide. But what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Of course, this we all love to watch the creative side.